Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your QuickBooks online account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you delete or deactivate a service in your QuickBooks online account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to delete or deactivate a service in your QuickBooks online account anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that your service is going to change over time. So maybe there's a service that you no longer offer. So you want to go ahead and deactivate it. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your QuickBooks online account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. Also for record keeping purposes, I want to let you know you cannot delete a service out of your QuickBooks online account. However, you can deactivate it. That way it's not an option to add it into future invoices. So I've already logged into my QuickBooks online account. This is the homepage. Now in order to remove or deactivate a service that you are offering, what you want to do is click on menu right here on the left. Once you click there, you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to hover over sales. And once you do that, you're going to see these three options and you want to click on products and services. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see a long list of the different services that you offer. So you want to scroll through until you find the one that you'd like to remove or deactivate. So for example, this one right here, and all you're going to do is go ahead and click on the little arrow next to the name. Once you see that, you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to click on make inactive. Then you're going to get this warning. Are you sure you want to go ahead and make that service inactive? Go ahead and click on yes. All right. Quick second later, you can see the page refreshes. Now my service has been removed or deactivated. So I can no longer add that into my invoices unless I'm going to re-add that as a service. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to delete or deactivate a service inside of your QuickBooks online account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.